Hi guys, I'm uh, Lat uh, from from Red Bar and Bamboo, and uh, I'm gonna make you my favorite uh, drink and uh, the way I make my sazerac. So uh, we will start with uh, uh, facial features, and we're gonna make the sazerac that is both uh, made with uh, cognac and uh, rye whiskey. So a couple of steps that I like to do is uh, start with ice in a, in a mixing glass. And I like to, I like my ice to be a little bit wet for for the sazerac for the specific reason because uh, first of all it washes away all the impurities uh, uh, of the ice that are there and uh, second of all I like uh, specific dilution for uh, for the sazerac to be and this uh, helps to maintain it and improve it. So we're gonna strain the the water. And then I have the, the sequence in which I put my uh, ingredients through. So I always start with the, with the sugar, simple syrup. Two bar spoons. Like over the years, I uh, discovered that uh, two spoons of the Japanese bar spoon, uh, I don't know the exact uh, ratio, not, not ratio, measurement of this spoon, but two spoons of uh, two to one sugar syrup works perfect for 60 mils. Of, uh, of the spirit. Uh, then I put uh, my pecho bitters. I like to put them on ice because uh, if the ice is gonna melt it, it's not gonna make it, it's gonna hide a little bit uh, uh, in a drink. And then I put my spirits in. So half and half, we're gonna put 30 ml of rye whiskey. In this case is Bullet and uh, Remy Martin cognac. So as you can see, we're using the really good quality ice, which is another very important factor in, uh, in this drink. I like to stir it really well, then I let it sit a little bit while I prepare my glass. My glass is in a freezer, it's important that it's really, really, really cold. And it's, it will help because we serve Sazerac, of course, without the ice and without the garnish. It will help to maintain the temperature of the, of the final drink. We stir it well. It's only a spirit based drink so it's important that uh, it dilutes well now we're gonna prepare the glass so traditionally the the glass is rinsed with absinthe we're gonna spray it spray it well and we're also gonna spray a little bit on the outside because it's really nice when you touch it with your fingers that it's gonna stick to your fingers and smell really absinthe and, and nice. It's beautiful. The almost oily texture of the drink shows you how cold the drink is. And then uh, very important to use fresh zest of the lemon, just a small slice, because we're just going to peel it and spray it over the top, a little bit of the glass. And voila, that's your Sazerac. Enjoy!